First experiment, Ohm's law, series and parallel combination of resistors. In this experiment, you are going to learn how to measure resistance. For this purpose, you are going to use a simple resistor and set up a simple DC circuit including this resistor. There will be a power supply in this circuit. You will use two multimeters to measure the potential differences and the current flowing in the circuit. This one can be used as the ammeter. The other one can be used as the voltmeter. Now it is time to set up a circuit. Connect the power supply to one end of the resistor. Connect the ammeter in series with the resistor. Connect the voltmeter in parallel with the resistor. Turn on the power supply and adjust an arbitrary output. Adjust the range of the ammeter. There is now a potential difference between the terminals of the resistor. This potential difference and the current flowing through the resistor are measured using the multimeters. Record these values as V1 and I1 respectively. Now increase the output. Record the values read off from the multimeters as V2 and I2. Take five readings for five different power supply outputs. Plot potential difference versus current. Current values should be on the horizontal axis. The slope of the best line gives you the value of the resistance due to Ohm's law. The value of the resistance has been calculated from the graph. In addition, you are going to calculate the value of the resistance using the color code on the resistor. Now take another resistance and set up the same circuit. Take one voltage and the corresponding current reading and calculate the value of the resistance using Ohm's law and the color code on the resistor. Now repeat the same steps for another resistor. Calculate the value of the resistance using one voltage and the corresponding current reading and also using the color code. Now connect the resistors. This is the resistor used in the first part. Connect the second and the third resistors in parallel and this combination in series to the first. Now set up the same circuit with this resistor system. The potential difference between these two points should be measured. Turn on the power supply. Now the voltmeter reads the total potential difference on the system and the ammeter reads the total current flowing through the circuit. This is the resistor system as indicated. You can calculate the equivalent resistance of this system using these voltage and current readings. Then you can calculate the equivalent resistance making use of the color codes and how the resistor are combined. Calculating resistance using color codes. There are four bands on the resistor. Three of them are close together and have pastel colors. The fourth one is apart from them and has a metallic color. This band indicates the error. Name this band as band 4 and the others as the third, the second and the first respectively. Check the values corresponding to the colors and construct a two-digit number with bands 1 and 2 being tens and units digits respectively. 
Multiply this number with 10 to the power band 3 to calculate the value of the resistance. Now you can test Kirchhoff's law. Measure the total current in the circuit and the potential difference across the parallel resistors. Before that, rearrange the resistors to connect the multimeters appropriately. The circuit will not change. These two resistors are still in parallel and this combination is still in series with the first one. The ammeter will again measure the total current. This time, the voltmeter will be connected between these points and measure the potential difference across the parallel resistors. This one measured the total current and this one measured the potential difference across the parallel resistors. Now you can calculate the resistant values using color codes and calculate the total current in the circuit using these values, power supply output and applying Kirchhoff's law. You can compare this value with the measured one.